frustrated as hell, I finally found the wrench Freddy wanted, but it didn't fit. And now he wants me to locate a size smaller, so I'm back in the toolbox, rifling around. And I found it pretty quick anyway, and Freddy thanked me. When I bent over to give it to him, Bless chimed in again like a broken doorbell which cannot be unpressed. Something about how I was looking pretty loose with my bubble goose. And she asked Freddy, Do you have a wrench for her? She needs tightening. That ass sure is dragging. And I shot back with, yeah, well, you need to loosen up. You're so tight, you could mint coins. And that did it. We finally threw down. She came at me and we tussled. She went and tried to kick me in the kneecap and missed. I tried to kick her in her mint, and then she got me in a headlock. And I dropped down, pushing up with my hands and her arms and got out of it. The way they taught us once in the girl army classes how to break a hold. And she kicked me in my dragon ass. And I kicked her in her cool mint. And I must have wrote her up for her expired entitlement tags. Because she gnashed her teeth and came at me swinging. I went down and lifted her up. And we both fell. And Freddy watched in disbelief under the car as we fought on the ground at eye level. And as we got close to one of the jacks he was using to prop up the car, he starts yelling, Get away from the car, boo! Get away! But we kept on wrestling and scratching and fighting on the pavement. And, hey, hey, watch it! And he whistled, and we stopped. That whistle went straight through us. Freddy, when he wants your attention, he gets it. Like a freight train like a bullet, and I never felt a sound that hurt before, and I felt lifeless, and bless, felt lifeless on top of me. Freddy came out from under the car and got up slow and stained with oil. He wiped his face with a rag and sighed and walked over to us and stood there looking down. Hello? We could have knocked the jock jack down and he could have been crushed by the car. And we could have been terrors to him, but Freddy would never harm us. Boy, were we lucky, because when Freddy got mad, he was a pit bull with off-colored eyes locking in. One dish water, one opaque pale blue. And look out, nobody was going to mess with Bless or me as the sun was getting pulled out of the sky slow like quicksand. <laughs>